When you gaze at the sky, you're likely not only seeing stars, but increasingly low Earth orbit satellites. There's so many, they often look like a moving, glittering train. Closer to Earth, children at this primary school in north central Chile are enjoying the benefits. The Manuel de Sala school was one of hundreds that had limited or no access to the internet until it acquired a Starlink high speed satellite connection. It's an incredible change in terms of what we can do in class now. It's a very important educational tool, not just for us, but all schools. Starlink is Elon Musk's latest aerospace manufacturing project. Along with rival services such as Jeff Bezos' Amazon, it aims to provide high-speed internet to the most remote corners of the globe, where connectivity is difficult or impossible. Chile was the first Latin American country to license such services. What's not visible is the Starlink satellite that makes all this technology possible. So far, there are 1,500 of them out there in outer space, but the company has been authorized to place as many as 12,000 in the next five years. And that's the trouble. The satellites are competing with another scientific wonder, modern astronomy. The world's largest telescope, the ELT, is being built in northern Chile, which will soon house 70% of the world's astronomical infrastructure. But astronomers say light pollution and frequencies generated by low-orbit satellites are interfering with all important observations of other planets. But what has to happen to, to be able to coexist together is, is communication and collaboration. If we don't talk to each other, uh, we are not going to reach agreements. Mr. Chavarria argues that observatories are just as necessary as internet from outer space. We are going to be able to see if those planets have oxygen, for example, if there is any chance that there may be some kind of life in those planets. And we are giving those first steps into looking for future homes uh, for humanity. The United States Office for Outer Space Affairs is working on rules for frequencies and coordinates to create a global system for sharing outer space for the benefit of all of those on Earth, large and small. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Guanaqueros, Chile.